anyone seen the stapler? I can't find any pins. Oh, here it is. Will someone answer that phone? Hello again and welcome back to English at Work. The offices of Tip Top Trading have become chaotic since Denise left and just at a time when things are getting busy. How's everyone going to cope? Let's find out. Hello? Yes, it is. Yes. Well, well, look, we're very busy at the moment, so call back later. Bye. That was a bit rude, Tom. Well, we're too busy to be nice. Hmm. Not a good attitude, Tom. Even when you are busy at work, it's important to be polite on the phone. It could be a potential customer. Anna, I think you're going to have to remind Tom about this. Yes, I think so. If things are busy in the office, you could say to someone on the phone, we're a bit busy at the moment. Could I take your name and number and we'll call you back? And when would be a convenient time to call you? Or if the caller wants to speak to someone specific, you could say, could I take a message, please? And I'll make sure he or she calls you back. That's useful. Oh, there goes the phone again. <clears throat> Anna, could, could you get that, please? I've got a mouthful of biscuit. Mm, thanks. Sure, Paul. Hello, Tip Top Trading. Yes, that's right. But things are a bit busy at the moment. Could I take your name and number and I'll call you back as soon as I can? Oh, hold on. Has anyone got a pen? I think we've run out. Denise usually orders them. Here, use my souvenir pen I bought in Italy. Uh, you'll see it, it changes colour if you hold it up to the to the light. Thanks. Oh no, there's no paper to write it on. Uh, yeah, look, here, write it on my hand. Okay, hold still. Seven four nine zero five six eight. Thanks for your patience. When is a good time to call you back? Okay, three o'clock. I'll call you then. Goodbye. Sounds important. Possibly. Oh, not again. Hello, Tip Top Trading. Anna speaking. I see. Well, he doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I take a message and I'll get him to call you back? Tom, I need your other hand to write on. Keep still. OK, what's the message? Yes. Call Bob about the lemons on... A zero nine five two four. Okay, I'll pass that on. Thanks. Bye. Goodness, it's been crazy here since Denise left. Look, we've even run out of tea bags. I'll go and get some, shall I? Hold on, Tom. Has that invoice for tutti frutti been sent out yet? Oh, I don't know. Denise usually sends out the paperwork. I wish Denise was here. So do we all. It sounds like chaos in the office, but however hectic things can get, remember to remain professional when answering the phone. Here's a reminder of some of the phrases you could use. We're a bit busy at the moment. Could I take your name and number and we'll call you back? When would be a convenient time to call you? Could I take a message, please? And I'll make sure he or she calls you back. <whistles> Oh, there you are, Tom. You've been a long time. I need to give Paul that important message I wrote on your hand. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, it's a bit tricky. Uh, you see, I went to the toilet and then, well, I washed my hands. Oh, no! You've washed the messages off! What are we going to do now? Uh, I'll get that, shall I? We can't carry on like this. No, you can't. Has Anna lost the numbers of two potential clients? Can the company carry on like this? It certainly looks like it could do with another pair of hands. What will happen next? Join us again next time for English at Work. Bye! <laughs>